brothers and sisters i show you a matured christian as one who produces joy in his life regardless of circumstances regardless regardless if i'm here right now and they tell me my house is burning let me tell the truth i won't be happy but to say maybe i won't be able to sleep this night me joshua selman no 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 way ah, lord i give you praise thank you thank you that this house burnt and i did not die inside i give you thanks it would have been worse it is the mind that brought everything is still alive so i'm alive i've not really lost anything joy peace in this troubled world some of us don't have peace it's not just the word shalom are we together this peace you see is a revelation of the ability of god to be in control control my god is in control i need not fear what can man do to me i need not fear a great man in this country was kidnapped by assassins when they caught him they were about to kill him and they said look this and they looked at him he was restful very very restful and they looked at him they didn't know what to do with him he wasn't begging well okay 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 go out to the back of my wardrobe that's where the money is if it's the dollars check the other side mm -hmm. the guy was there restfulness we live in a troubled world you must have peace to survive most people don't have peace that's what causes high blood pressure there's no peace so they worry they worry about everything who will marry me i hope i will have a child though i hope i will have a house lord where will i settle will i be in zaria or this you are about to write jam yet you are asking god lord when i finish university who will be my wife what kind of worry is that he makes me lie down in quiet waters i receive grace to walk in peace you must receive it grace to walk in peace you are full of the peace of god people just come and say look hey the whole world is getting i mean the sun is going to hit the moon one object we don't know one ufo will soon hit the earth next week mm, i'm in peace great peace have them that trust him in nothing shall they be terrified great peace great peace everybody say i have peace say it i have peace say i refuse to worry prophesy to yourself i refuse to worry this this is the measure of maturity this is where the our orthodox circles beat us suppose pentecostal people hands down you will see a woman who had a car accident four of her children right there on the floor one no head one no hand and you see her singing a song crying but singing a song you try to stop i say no you people should not cry my children are in heaven this is the person who should be crying comforting you great peace our emotional world that does not trust god we are perturbed at everything i will give you a job tomorrow hey lord i thank you i call you by 1 a.m something came up that job is not oh god why are you doing this to me now stability restfulness my god is alive is god teaching us something tonight long suffering another word there is patience in our world of fast food quick tea fast uh, uh, what they call it indomie ready-made food there are other foods that just drop it put water and up you go we are in a rush we don't have patience it's led people into all kinds of things we are impatient do you know there are people if only they were patient for one more day they would see the salvation of the lord in their lives you've been traveling just when your miracle is about to come impatience cheats you do you know let me tell you how to know your miracle is coming the flesh begins to become so uncomfortable it starts offering alternatives the moment this starts you were praying non-stop for two weeks just three more days it looks like you are praying for one year it's a sign that result is coming the devil is trying to touch whatever he can touch so you don't have the same power to remain and receive that 
i choose to be patient there are men of god who is impatience that drove them to go and collect power from sorcerers the power is not working now they have not experienced increase impatience some of our parents are in huge debt today because impatience did not allow there are young people today just be patient for one year and you'll know i must marry by latest by june they go and borrow 1.2 million at at a 30 percent interest rate per month and they don't think well they just go and borrow it and satan satan you will use that money or health not even the marriage that's satan for you impatience has cheated our world of young people someone sent me a text i should pray that he must go to is this cyprus or where that he believes in the word of god upon my mouth that his mother is the one sponsoring him i replied him back i said young man your mother cannot afford your fees why must you go to cyprus he's already studying nigeria he wants to leave it not that something is wrong this supposed let it be that me too i read abroad that gentleman now will allow the devil use him to yoke his poor mother to send him to cyprus or send him wherever it is that he was going i didn't pray for him gentleness gentleness the character that typifies this is the dove many of us were not gentle we miss out on everything because we don't have gentleness many of us are introverted so we think we are gentle you are not don't confuse your personality with the fruit of the spirit this is the fruit of the recreated human spirit in touch with the holy ghost that you are a quiet person there are people who they just look depressed it doesn't mean they are gentle they can be wicked and wild it's just that they are slow to doing it doesn't mean they won't do it gentleness the way you eat the way you act you knock on someone's door you are not you are not you are your presence is not inviting you are your approach to life is harsh very wild goodness goodness benevolence goodness not just kindness goodness a measure of your giving not just money the ease at which you release things to improve people's lives goodness not just giving faith or faithfulness let's go to the next one 23 meekness meekness is is, is similar to humility meekness esteeming people better than yourself or at least not degrading people to rise temperance self-control 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 knowing when to speak and when to keep quiet knowing when to keep quiet even when you have what to say the bible says if a man err not in words that man is a perfect man perfection is not measured just by what you do but the ability to keep quiet do you know the level of spiritual maturity it takes to be silent when you have something to say a man is counseling you and is making blunders he's quoting wrong scriptures and you are very sound in the word yet you keep quiet oh yes daddy oh yes ah yes daddy and the man is quoting one scripture that doesn't make sense and saying something that is is a total waste of time honestly but you have the fortitude yes daddy at the end of it he releases a blessing every other thing was false except that blessing that one you can be sure you got it but someone hey, daddy sorry just to correct you <laughs> that verse is 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 is, is old testament ah, daddy you are getting old your memory and you you talk and you you are saying something that is so pungent and offensive and you, you say it's, it's how i am i'm very expressive character let me give you a few other scriptures we may not consider them for time's sake very quickly write this down romans chapter 5 from verse 3 to 5 let's look at that one at least romans 5 3 to 5 then i'll give you two others second peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 7 please write it down 
second peter chapter 1 verse 5 to 7 and then colossians chapter 3 from verse 12 to 15 colossians chapter 3 from verse 12 to 15 let's look at romans chapter 3 chapter 5 from verse 3 it says and not only so but we glory in tribulations knowing that tribulations worketh patience and patience experience and experience hope five and hope make it not ashamed because the love of god is shed abroad in our hearts by the holy ghost he was talking about people sustaining the same power in times of tribulation can you go through difficult times and still give god the glory do you sustain the fortitude to not curse god like job's wife suggested he do and job said no 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 though he slay me yet will i trust him say amen number three the third index for measuring growth for a believer for a church for an assembly is god blessing you tonight is understanding 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 your love life character understanding hebrews chapter 5 please give us from verse 11 to 13 quickly hebrews chapter 5 from verse 11 to 13 it says of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered seeing ye are dull of hearing go ahead for when for the time ye ought to be teachers ye have need that one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of god and are become such as have need of milk and not strong meat this this guy is saying by now based on my investment in your life you should have attained a level where you should be teachers but you are still there struggling with the foundational things of the kingdom barren of understanding it says for everyone that used milk is unskillful unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a babe no matter how long he has been in church no matter how old he is in age first corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20 first corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20 then we look at chapter 13 verse 11 quickly please first corinthians chapter 14 i meant to say 14 14 and verse 20 first corinthians 14 and verse 20 let's read it together it's projected one to read brethren be not children in understanding how be it in malice be ye children but in understanding be men hmm. this is apostle paul for you this guy was really a man he said when it comes to malice and all these other foolish things and nonsense be children be children but when it comes to the issues of understanding the kingdom be men be mature grow there's too much childishness in the body of christ there are truths in the kingdom we must know your identity in christ is the foundation for your growth who are you in christ this is not just a denomination's perspective it is the order of growth because if you do not know who you are and who you are in christ like the book of Ephesians opens us up to every other thing will not work well I know my positional advantage in Christ my oneness with him that understanding is enshrined in my mind forever regardless of what I do I do from the standpoint of that understanding and then other ordinances of the spirit the Bible talks of the doctrines of baptisms the Bible talks of other things foundational things that must be in place the ministry of prayer at a level in the spirit you should not be taught the basics of prayer again that if somebody is oppressed they say have you prayed say no say pray now say okay didn't you know after how many years in church must you be told to tight all this coercing that pastors coerce people no time for the word you have to coerce people god has something to say you are, you are getting the attention listen listen and then the, the song is really working for them because they would not have listened what sort of a membership is that are we together 
you should have grown to the level where you have seen the value of the word of god do you know i'm surprised when i see people gisting and talking around when the word is coming it's satanic it's an attack because when the word comes it is sent the preacher may be preaching it but god is sending it the one thing satan supervises himself is the word the bad soil immediately satan not a demon he came and took the seed by himself everybody say understanding first corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11 paul again is teaching us you are not growing spiritually when your understanding is not measuring up with your supposed growth it says when i was a child i speak as a child so i can know you are a child through your communication i understood as a child you can look at one of these our little ones and promise them aeroplane and first thing in the morning they come to you with confidence believing you actually will get them aeroplane that's that's how many of us understand spiritual things the devil will tell us every kind of nonsense and we still believe it although you know he can't do it and you still believe it that's that's understanding as a child i thought as a child but when i became a man i put away including childish understanding what is your understanding like what do you know about god today there are some things the devil will never try to bring to my life with all humility i have gained understanding more than that there is no message on earth that will make me stop tithing there is, no 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 it's a persuasion this is not a denomination's perspective i adopted it's a revelation that has become spirit and life hmm. you see that there is there is no amount of revelation that will make my tomorrow less than my today no i've caught the keys it's been given to me hmm. koinonia will never never go down let me tell you it's, it's not pride there is an understanding that sponsors that position what do you understand today that gives you stability if i get a text now and someone says apostle just to let you know that tomorrow by this time you're a dead man what do i know that gives me confidence <laughs> i went to minister somewhere we're going to pray shortly i went to minister somewhere and a man who god gave them a miracle of a child there was a herbalist hey, Jimmy. The herbalist made i don't know i can't get the full import of the story but there was some incantation and the herbalist vowed that nobody can break that whatever jinx and the rest and all of a sudden i was i was in that church and i prophesied to them that they were going to have their child now when i went back to minan they, they showed me the child the child was there and the herbalist was dead i didn't kill the herbalist a mystery killed him A proud man who was taught by another ignorant man concocts a charm and claims there is no man remember people have made those kinds of stupid statements in the Bible shall these things be that even if God will open the windows of heaven ah God said me you bring me into the equation and act as if I'm, I'm one of your your rulers you will see it but you will eat of it they stamped that guy to death at the gate of where the breakthrough was Our stability in the kingdom is through our understanding I can give everything I have today and go to bed in peace because I know how it came I know how it comes I know how it will always come hmm. we can go and start koinonia anywhere that God grants us grace and this same result you see will be reproduced verbatim is based on understanding it's not luck what do you understand about God what do you understand about finances what do you understand about marriage what do you understand about the voice of god what do you understand about the anointing what do you understand about redemption don't just tell me i know mm -mm. it matters who trained your understanding there's something that you have been taught that makes satan such a big deal to you that your entire life revolves around just being careful and awareness of his presence there are things i understood about satan 
that give me rest in my life it is true you can't be doing what i'm doing if all you have is anointing the devil will destroy you he will destroy you i assure you hallelujah if i'm sitting outside taking a fresh air and my eyes is open and i see a demon spirit pass i'm not going to say anything he didn't talk to me just, just go wherever you are toe and fro up you go i pity the spirit for seeing me because he won't be the same i don't have to pray you see that already that mission is failed for sure at least for that day at least in my presence now the light shines in darkness it didn't say it shines in the night it shines in darkness darkness is not a state it's a person the light shines in darkness the prince of darkness you cannot see the light and act like you didn't see it no. i can never pray for you and your life remains the same it's not true either the devil will attack you from that prayer or breakthrough will come you will never be the same that prayer will do something it may increase the attack in your life because the devil is agitated that you came or it can bring breakthrough or something just know that you will not be the same it's impossible i believe this i have been saying this thing for many years if i were lying about it you'll see it by now brothers and sisters i have been raised up with christ truly i believe this it is not kenneth higgins ideology it is not ew kenyon's ideology it is the truth from scripture far above bishop oyedeko will call it a far above mentality i really am above above occultic powers only god knows how many of them have my names now they will call on my name like baal from morning till night till every year and nothing will happen what do you believe about god what do you believe about yourself i believe i will never be poor it's not the issue of okay i like money or i don't like money i can't undo it the process has been ignited it can never be undone understanding i will have to undo everything i know it's too late this i believe koinonia will never go down no it's not the issue of let's pray that it was let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters i don't mean to be arrogant believe me there is a finger holding this ministry it's not standing upon space there is a hand mm. he upholds all things by the word of his power the right hand of god able to hold men and keep them standing when all is said and done to him be the glory standing what do you understand about your job what do you understand about favor what do you understand about prayer is god helping us these are the things that make us spiritual when i'm invited for a meeting what do i understand about myself about god about the anointing that will bless the people if you invite me for a meeting what do what do i understand do i know that i am a blessing if you know you are a blessing you are not going to meet any church member and tell him look i'm prophesying to you so twenty thousand naira to my life anybody that does that is not a wise man of god it's because you do not understand god let him that glory at glory in this that he understand it and knoweth me i can't claim i know everything about this god but brothers and sisters there are some things i know the more you know god the more you know yourself the only way to know yourself is in knowing him because you are a reflection of him here's what the bible has to say the bible says in second corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18 second corinthians 3 and verse 18 it says but we all with open face listen beholding us in a glass not beholding ourselves beholding the glory then we are changed like the animals of jacob and laban kept looking at something and the children they gave birth to were after the order of what they were looking at the bible says as we behold him all i see in my life is the glory of god all i see in my life is the glory of god truly speaking this is not just some nonsense confession all i see in my life i am an expression of the glory of god all i see in my life i have made my eyes single like a flint to see the glory of god 
I see his faithfulness. Whatever does not work out the way I want, God is up to something. Lord, I see your glory. I see the glory of God in Koinonia. Don't allow Satan alter your perception and see the world as negative and see everything as if the whole world is coming to end. The whole world will not end by a crisis. God will end the world he started. It's not all this nonsense that people move around and say one, one thing is coming to hit the earth. It's not today. Before you were born, it's been going around the earth. There is the keeper of the earth. The earth is the Lord's. The landlord can lock his door and say it's over. It's time. Everybody say understanding. Number four. The last index to measure your spiritual growth is the outworkings of the power of God in and through your life. The outworkings. Listen, it has to be in this order. Your love life. Character. 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 Character understanding gain understanding understand the systems of the kingdom don't is it's a risk to just walk around like that and then finally the outworkings of god don't tell me you are growing and then your body cannot become a host for the glory and the power and the grace of god no the bible says to grow in grace and to also grow in the knowledge of god i must be growing in the anointing you should be able to look at my life and know that last year this was the dimension in the spirit dimension in power and anointing and authority today this is the dimension i have seen people who have not backslidden but they've not grown either they have pegged themselves at a level the grace for performance is not in their lives talkatives talking all kinds of things the semblance of power but there's nothing to demonstrate the reality of the kingdom he said the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink but in righteousness and peace and joy in the holy ghost and then he says for the kingdom of god is not in words but in power the demonstration of power i should be able to see the power of god working in your life that a sister should be able to say look um i've been in koinonia two years what's the challenge let's agree father in the name of jesus we release your power over this situation and two days later this gentleman calls and says sister I don't know you but my goodness you are powerful you said something you made an utterance and the realm of the spirit responded let me tell you when the realm of the spirit hears you you are powerful it's true you are powerful many powerless believers prayer is not just power automatically prayer connects you to God it is God that gives power prayer does not give power people move around deceiving themselves that just because they are praying power is coming automatically no sir a prayerless less christian is a powerless christian because a prayerless christian has no contact with god and so there is no um release of power it is not prayer that gives power prayer is like a rope it connects you and god it is you god is the giver of power many people keep depending on prayer to give power that's why they pray forever and never get power there is no place in scripture where prayer should give you power it is your connection with god prayer connects you to god the same way faith too faith in itself does not give you result the assignment of faith is to connect you to the anointing it is the anointing that is the system of performance in the kingdom because we don't know these things we keep confusing the things around i believe in the power of god my life is built on it i'm unapologetic about the power of god when i talk of power i'm not talking of falling down when i'm talking of power i'm talking of results results that can be reproduced that i can bless you i can program a climate of possibility upon your life there is an agency in the spirit that grants men access to do that do you have it in your life I know you have been falling down every week but do you have it can you say the power of god is working in your life we need power in this life not just for warfare a validation of the hand of god upon your life there are men of god who are powerless they just say i'm not calling to all these things i'm a slow quiet person it's a lie there's no gift of there's no ministry like that it's a lie everybody is called to be a demonstrator of the reality of god let me see the power in your life 
there is the power to get wealth where is it if wealth is not in your hands then the power is not there or it's not being used there is the power that brings influence there is the power that compels demons and principalities to be subject there is a power that heals the sick you don't heal the sick by desire it takes power to heal them virtue virtue went out of jesus not the apostles not the disciples changes are created by the presence of the power and the anointing of the spirit you are a blessing when you are powerful you are a blessing when you are anointed believers hear me if we truly grow in the spirit we should be powerful but look that blend of love and power on that that reminds me of the lion and the lamb dimension the lion is powerful courageous with an attitude and then the lamb sacrificial full of love you can't just be powerful alone and not have love no love should come above power character should come above power understanding should come above power if you have power without understanding it will not last and it will be misused it is understanding that coordinates the delivery the dispensing of power so that it will be it will be dispensed in accordance to god's principles i can have the gift of visions and not have understanding of the word and i can abuse that gift and destroy people power no understanding as we pray tonight i want to ask you a very serious question are these parameters working in your life can we honestly say as a family of believers that this is our experience can we say that our love life for one another and for men is ever increasing can we say we are growing in character as a corporate body are we kind are we loving can we forbear have we learned to tame our words have we learned to minister life to people or are we still priding ourselves with greek and hebrew words moving around and saying oh i gave a revelation somewhere i gave a hebrew word oh it's mimshak is is exousia is anakazo is this and, and we move and and nod around thinking we are growing we make a fool out of ourselves though i speak with tongues of men and of angels and i have not love he says i am nothing that even though i offer my body to be burned though i have understanding of all mysteries and i have not love i have nothing i want to live my life and live my days having these four things in ever increasing measure in my life that 10 years from now you will be able to look at me and say this guy loves god and loves people more not that this guy has built several ministries he's become a global voice uh -uh. and enoch walked with god and he was not not that he builds churches not an enoch wore suit he was a suit of one million and enoch walked with god and then character 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 the manifestation of the fruit of the spirit that somebody can insult you and say pastor alpha just to let you know you are the most stupid man of god i've met and you can read the text and say well it's just his opinion the lord bless you and not be under pressure to reply him back and say i curse you now jesus for you ah what manner of man jesus inspires me he truly is a mentor he's not just he's not just a father he's not just god when jesus mentors your life your life becomes a wonder you will sit in the middle of all kinds of things and just watch life like this apostle i'm suspecting you're a herbalist that's all right this is your it's your opinion where did you get your power from i've been suspecting you no problem you can suspect that's that's all right a life of peace character you can see somebody that offended you come pastor and he comes to meet you and like Esau and jacob you are the first to hug him ah. and you can stand and say i love you with all my heart how is your ministry doing how is everything doing not that you see somebody going down and say he <laughs> insulted me the other day you will know that this 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 head has some of those things we watch people do be careful it's not proof of maturity 
is proof of foolishness it's a sign that there is no growth for God so loved the world you must also love men the more you become like him the more you love men I love people you don't know how happy I am after the grace when our little children all run here and come and jump on me some of you are trying to clean my suit what is the suit let them jump they are teaching me something the day these children become afraid of you you should go for a retreat because it's a sign that there is a presence you are carrying that is pungent they don't have the kind of understanding that should ordinarily create fear something about your countenance which is a product of something in your head is translating to the fear of those kids this is how to live a useful life next time you say you are growing spiritually don't say it because they are inviting you for meetings now don't say it just because you bought a new car wonderful as it is you must take it in this order when you go back home now for you and for your loved ones take that test on a scale of one to ten what is my love life it's easy to lie that you love god but my neighbor my friends my people my roommate my nasty unbelieving roommate 